Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Yes, I'm in the same outfit. I apologize. I just wanted to get both of these filmed because I keep forgetting to actually film these videos. So welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here. This is a four for four video where I take a palette and I wear it for four days and then I compare four palettes against each other to see how they stack up and rank them at the end. If you are interested in this type of video, I will have a whole playlist of all of my 444 videos up there. And I'm trying to do these once a week. Hopefully I will get them out once a week. I might do them every other week just because I have a lot of hauls that are coming up and I don't want you to see my November hauls in February. So let's talk about the palettes that I compared. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I have the original one. And then I have the Glow Kit, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Ultimate Glow. This was like their holiday one a couple years ago. I have from Laura Geller, this is the Life Glows On High Def Glow Illuminator Palette. And then I have another Laura Geller. This just is, says Laura Geller New York. It doesn't say, like, have fancy words on it. So, highlighters. I love my highlighter. I... It's one of my favorite things of all time. So I was very excited for this challenge because I have a lot of highlighter palettes. I have a lot of highlighters. I just, I love, I love them. So the first one we're going to start with is just the plain old Laura Geller. You do get three shades in here. Oh, it says on the top, glow for it. High def glow illuminator kit. So very close. Sorry to see all of my camera and stuff. So this one, there's only three shades. Like I said, um, not a whole lot to this kit. There's a lot of wasted space. That's the thing that bugs me the most about this one because you could have this palette be half the size because like if you look at, look at all the wasted space compared to the two palettes. Anyway, this three shades in here, you have Champagne Toast, which is on top. In the middle, you have Star, Star Struck. And on the bottom, you have Golden Gleam. Now, Golden Gleam is obviously too dark for me. It does not work as a highlight whatsoever. The Champagne Toast is nice. It's kind of one of her known shades. And Starstruck is probably my favorite. It is a very pretty pinky shade. I do think this is a nice kit. I like the Laura Geller highlighters. I don't know if they're my favorite highlighters, though. But let's look at the, let's compare the other one. So this one, once again, has Champagne Toast, but then it also has Opal Haze and Moon Dust in it. And as you can see, this is a much more compact type of a palette. So you don't have the crazy extra space taken up. In here, this is what the three shades look like. So I'm kind of swatching them all so you can see. So there's Champagne Toast again. That is the... Um, opal hate or moon dust sorry and this is the opal down here now I will tell you my like thoughts on these in a little bit but I think these are nice uh, highlighters I I don't know if they're my favorite formula I found that they didn't really last on the skin and I kind of like that glowiness to last all day and I felt at times they looked kind of powdery and maybe that was just the brushes that I was using that week that gave me that feeling. But I just, I wasn't super impressed with them. I wasn't as impressed as I remembered being about them. So I was disappointed in both of them, to tell you the truth. Going on to our next set. This is the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. And in here, you have six shades. You have some very dark shades that are almost identical. Like, there is a lot of the same. And I find it really funny that this was their holiday set because, man, that is, that looks like somebody who has a nice tan or like, this is not a universal palette. It just, it, it's funny because if you wear snow and that looks good on you, these aren't going to look good on you. And if these look good on you, snow is not going to look good on you. So I found this palette very confusing to say the least. All right, so that's what they all look like. As you can see, snow worked pretty good for me. Even white sand, um, even though it looks kind of dark, it worked fairly well. And then the rest of them just progressively get darker and darker, and they just 
don't really work for my skin tone. So for those reasons, I'm going to pass this kit along. I just, I could use them as eyeshadows, but again, um, like I said last week with my Juvia's Place palette, these are so big, like this, I don't, I don't need giant eyeshadows that big. So unfortunately, just the range of tones in here did not work for me. Probably should never have bought it in the first place, but I got it when I first started getting into makeup and YouTube, and I was so excited to find things um, that people were talking about so that I could review them, and I never did get around to reviewing it, I'm pretty sure, till now. Last palette is the Nicole Guerrero, and they did re-release this because it was so popular. I don't watch a lot of big YouTubers, so like I did watch a couple of Nicole Guerrero videos after this came out. She wasn't really my style, and I found like a lot of the bigger YouTubers, I don't know, they just, they don't put out regular content, and I just, I don't know. I never got into her, but I did get into this palette. So you do have six shades. You get kind of a right wide range of shades. You got a couple of you got a pinky one, a peachy one, kind of a more taupish shade, I guess, more of a white, and then you have these more golden ones, which they look pretty similar, but I feel like they do perform slightly different on the skin. So there they all are on the skin. Yeah, they are pretty blinding. They are very shiny. I do have, I think I put Forever Young, this one in the middle on, so that's the second one. That is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. Like I said in my last video, ignore my eyes. I was trying to experiment and it didn't go quite well. Um, but yeah, I really do like these. These two are a little more challenging for me because they are darker. Um, this one I can still kind of wear. It's really just that one that doesn't work, but I do really like this palette. This is um, one that is staying in my collection that I am going to keep out so that I can use it more often because I definitely need to use these type of palettes more often. So this is going to be my number one palette of the four. I just, I really like it. Um, I feel like these last really well. They have a really nice blinding quality to them, which is what I always look for in a highlighter. So that's everything that I could w wish for in a highlighter. In second place, um, I'm going to put the ultimate I don't know. I have a hard time right now because I really like the formula on these, but I feel like this palette is not coherent um, or cohesive. I mean, cohesive, not coherent. Um, I'm not being coherent, but I still like the quality of the highlighters. They're just not the best shade range and they are being decluttered. Then we have the Laura Gellers. I'm going to, I'm going to put this one. No. We're gonna put this one in third place. I had to think for a second. Um, I'm putting this one in second place because, or third place, I love this Starstruck. This is a beautiful shade. I think it's really nice. I do like the Champagne Toast, so I think these two are nice. Um, but this one I have absolutely no use for whatsoever. It's just too dark. It doesn't match with the other ones, which I'm getting annoyed at that in palettes now. Like, I know we're trying to be inclusive of everything, but be like um, Sydney Grace where they put out a lighter and a darker palette or Huda where they have the three shades of the nudes. Like, that makes so much more sense than to try to shove everything in here and then people are buying things that they can't use. Anyway, I like these two, but not this one. But I am going to declutter this because it is so bulky. I mean, it's a thick palette too. It's... It's, it's just, it's a lot of space. So I'm going to declutter this one too. I know I'm making history here. This is because I'm decluttering this one too. This is the Life Glows On. I like this palette. Um, like I said, I was really excited about the shades. I just felt like they didn't perform as well as I wanted them to perform. And I just, I love highlighter and I wanted, you know, I want super performance, which I didn't get from these. And like the opal, I'm not really gonna wear a lot of because of the purple shift. I don't wear a lot of purple shift D highlighters because it's not really like, they're fun, but they don't really work for um, if you're in a professional setting. And the moon dust too, kind of that same thing. I feel like I have Space Baby by Ofra and that just does the same thing much better. So I'm decluttering this one as well. 
I'm decluttering three out of the four palettes, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I just, I don't feel like I'm going to get use out of these. They're probably just going to sit there for years to come and never get used. So these three are being decluttered and I am keeping the Nicole Guerrero, um, because I feel like this is for my skin tone, the best one. If you have darker skin tone, um, and you're not like pale as pale can be, uh, then you have more versatility in all of these palettes, I feel, than I do. Um, anyway, I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I'm going to quit rambling right now, and the sun is going down. It's so depressing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on these palettes if you have tried them before, and um, or if you had wanted them, and now you're like, well, she's decluttering them, so I don't feel as bad. Let me know down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.